OK, one of the things that was picked up on on its last MOT was the rear boot struts were gone. It's a pain in the backside, obviously. You want to load up the boot, take stuff out of the boot, and you're having to balance it on your head. So if I take this away, the boot just naturally goes down. So I have ordered two uh, new struts. Uh, they're from eBay. Uh, they're uh, basically, I, I never I avoided going for the, the, the cheapest ones. Uh, so went for them, it was about £40 for the two of them, which isn't too bad and it can be changed relatively easy. You just need a pick along those pliers, uh, maybe a knife to get into the, the bottom section there. So I'll pull the camera closer and we'll move into this one so you can actually see what I'm doing. So what we've got is the V section at the top is just like a little half ring essentially and it locks that in place, it kind of looks just like that. So what we're going to do is get a pick or a flat end of a screwdriver and just put it up, there's a, there's a natural line that runs along, so you're just going to prise it out a tiny wee bit and you can see it starting to come out there and then try and get under it with your pliers. Just to grip it and then there you go, that's you. It's honestly that simple and that quick and easy to do. So I'm going to switch this down to the bottom bit now. And you can see down there, this one is a wee bit more difficult to get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and swivel the camera around and try and get an angle down deep inside down there so you can see down there as well. Okay, so hopefully you should be able to see that a bit better and it's right down there we're looking to basically get. So again, it's exactly the same. You're looking to kind of push this down and create a little initial gap. Just to try and get the end of that little bit out. You can see it's starting to budge. And then when it's out again, just looking to grab a set of needle nose pliers is probably really good for this for you because if you get this and you don't catch it or it pops off and ends up down the end with the motor and all the moving parts of the, the actual uh, electric hood is it could give you some issues so just before you pull that off, make sure you've got a good grip of it with the pliers, and then once you've got it, just give it a pull and there we go, that is that, hopefully you should be able to see it and then again just make sure that you've got something bracing the boot and give it a pull towards the end and there we go, it came off really easy And then, again, so the fat bit goes at the top and the skinny bit down at the bottom. So I'm going to put the bottom bit in first, we did a wee bit of purchase on that. And again, that just pushes in. And then that top one, I'll lift the camera up so you can see that. And then the top one. If you look at that and you think, oh no, that's not aligned, just lift the bump, the lift the boot up just a wee bit more, and then that's you on it, and then give it a push in. It should click in. So you do need a wee bit of force behind it. I do have greasy hands now, so it's slipping. Yeah. Yeah. 
Deal bone. That's angled down the way, so where the, the entrance, or where the, the hole is, the hole's facing down that way, so we need it shifted back round, if that makes sense. So we'll just grab the pliers, turn it round, so it's now facing in, so when you put that pressure on it, the full lot is directed straight ahead, and it should hopefully crack in. It's not wanting to go. So on to plan B, which is just make sure everything will be perfectly aligned. And once it's aligned, a little bit of gentle persuasion via a set of a. Uh, these. There we go. So again, just want to make sure that's in and that bit is locked in place, which it is. And that's it. That's all good. And everything's in line. That one's in. That one's in. The other two. And we shall see if we have shuttage. Okay, so before you shut it, give everything a visual double check over. Make sure you've not put any tools or anything down the gutters. Make sure any torches you've clipped on are removed. And then... Ah, oh, awesome. I can now put stuff in and out the boot without being guillotined. We'll see if it shuts over. Happily. There we go. And... Open. There we go, sorted, fantastic. Uh, yeah, really simple, quick and easy to do, I think all in, including setting up the camera and talking and getting tools, I think it took less than 10 minutes to do. So yeah, uh, ideal, you can pick these up relatively cheap from umpteen different motor factors, eBay, Amazon. Uh, they're not specific for this car, they're all pretty universal, so you just need to make sure you get the right size. The one that I did get said it was listed as compatible with the SC430. So, yeah, uh, success with this one. You might have noticed, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not. I'll pull the camera back now. You can have a look, but I've removed the discs kind of sections from the alloys. Uh, they are gone because I'm ho hopefully going to have the car in at some point this month. Uh, to start the, the paint correction on it and whilst I've got it in I'm going to get the wheels sent away to get them refurbed so I wanted them off to remove the discs because uh, I'm going to do some metal polishing work on them I'm going to grind them all the way back down to the, the bare metal and get them polished back up to basically brilliant chrome and then get them back on it I've ordered new uh, bolts kind of for them as well uh, to the rears came off absolutely no problem at all the front ones were a nightmare I ended up having to use uh, bolt removers to basically take them because whoever's put them on or taking them off last time made an absolute dog's dinner of them and destroyed the, the, the hex kind of holes for them so yeah wasn't best pleased and that took longer than expected to do but hey ho fun and games of working on a project car so yeah, happy that sorted because that's something that annoyed me pretty much every day, putting my, my wee work kind of kit bag in the back of the car or nipping out to the shops on the way home from work and you want to put your shop in the boot but you're having to balance it in your head, it just, uh, it's, it's not ideal. So happy that's sorted and yeah, I shall uh, hopefully see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, cheerio bye, stay safe.